You may remember in another segment, uh, we used a model to show how you could place the flashing at the base of a window at the sill and how it actually tucked underneath the window as it was being set. So let's talk about that in more detail at this point. You'll notice here a CAD drawing showing a windowsill at the base of a wooden window. Several things that you would need to do, each of them I guess are equally important in making sure that you don't get water penetration into the house at the sill level. You'll notice that the flashing here is installed below the window as I mentioned. You can actually see the thin line of the flashing as it goes beneath the window. If we're going to suggest that that brick sill that you see depicted there might leak or allow some water through, then why not the sill in the window itself? Obviously it will leak some through the years too. So with the flashing underneath the window as you see it here, not only is the brick sill directing or the flashing under it directing the water back out, but also any that might make it through the window is collected and directed back to the outside as well. Notice too that there is some fall on this sill. Very important for your mason to make sure that this industry standard is at least closely adhered to. About a 15 degree fall or about three quarters of an inch will do the job. That way the water that the window collects that comes down on the sill is directed off much more quickly. This is what I commonly see in the workplace, a window sill that's practically flat. In fact, I've seen some that, that list back toward the house and, and water pools on the top of them. And uh, you just know that it's finding its way into the house at some point. And what I don't understand with this particular picture is, if you notice under the sill, there is a rip or a brick cut horizontally. And uh, you would think he would have just taken a bit more off of that cut so that he could get some fall in the sill but he did not do so. This is proper installation, good workmanship. You see there about three quarters of an inch fall in that windowsill. What you're looking at here now is a subdivision close by our office. And after doing a presentation for a large track builder, uh, another member of our staff just happened to be going through the subdivision where they were building multiple homes and saw the flashing hanging down outside the window and uh, realized that it was underneath the window, as we'd suggested. And uh, so he, he got out and took a few photographs. Notice there on the left side of this slide. See how that flexible flashing comes underneath the window and even turns up a bit on each side in the rough opening? Once the sheetrock is laid now on the inside or hung on that inside wall, the flashing will be turned up and then cut off even with the bottom of that window. And what effectively you've done then is formed a small pan underneath that window so that any water that gets through the window unit or through the brick sill is collected. There's no way it can get into the house. That's a very, very nice application. A piece of flashing that's underneath a sill at a back door and it comes through underneath the door and when they put the flooring in, uh, it calls for hardwood flooring in this instance. They'll just turn that lip that you see laying there on the floor up and again form a pan that will direct the water back to the outside. 